Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to find the area, proportion, probability, or percentage to the left of z score. Remember, we can only use z score when it is a normal curve. Okay? If it is a normal curve, of course, we convert into z score. And if z score is given, we can find the area by using the z table. By using the z table. Well, what is z table? Which one is z table? Basically, let me show you here. So this is a Z table. We have one positive Z score, as you clearly see, this table here. And there is another one, a negative Z table. Okay, negative Z table. So we're gonna use one or another one based on what is given to us actually, okay? All right, so let's take a look here. If you look into this one down here, right? So as you see, Z is equal to 0 0.65. So this line down here, right? 0 0.65. I want to make sure that we understand this here, okay? So we are trying to, this is the Z score. This is the Z score, okay? So remember, most probably this is going to be zero line, okay? So they're saying find the area under the normal curve, right? So on the left side, so we look area to the left side. So whatever in the left side, as you see, shaded piece, right? Shaded portion, all right? Now, we go to the Z table and look for 0 0.65. In other words, whatever we get from the Z table, that is going to be our answer. That's all. Area to the left of Z is just area to from the Z table. So well, we go down here and obviously, I'm going to... Yeah, let's take a look. 0 0.65. Here you go. I think that is nice enough. So I'm going to have 0 0.6. Look at this. So first of all, 0 0.6. So we go one decimal places. Under the Z score, look at that. All of them has one decimal places. So we go one decimal places. 0 0.6. So 0 0.6. Here you go. 0 0.6. Now this is the 0 0.6. Now I'm going to go up to 5. Up to 5. Here you go. Not yet. Of course. Here you go. That is the one actually. Why? Because that is the five, as you clearly see. Okay, that is the five. So what we get? We get 0 0.7422, 0 0.7422. So that is the answer, as you clearly see. Okay. So our answer is here is area. Area is equal to 0 0.7 four two two and this is the area shaded to the left side and clearly this is like 74 percent which is higher than 50 percent yeah that makes sense so we don't have to do anything actually so as you see this is more than 50 percent oh, by the way yeah that's the 50 percent well, approximately and of course more than 50 percent which is in this case we found 74 percent well, this is how we find the area to the left of Z. Let's take a look at another example. Well, how many different OEC? Look at this one here, right? So this one says, find the probability Z less than negative 2.49. Here you go. We can actually draw the normal curve. Here you go. Let me show you here. We can just draw the normal curve. Here you go. Well, that's not that great. So that's, I assume this is my zero and negative 2.49 so negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and negative 2.49 1 to 2.49 most probably that would be my z line that would be my z and that is here and they said area to the left so left means this little face here this little face here so we are going to find, well, this is basically negative 2.49. Okay, I'm just, I just level it. Okay, so we are looking at this little piece here. Look at this. So, negative 2.49. So, we're going to go to the Z table. Of course, we're going to look into the negative side. Okay, negative, remember it says, again, negative 2.49. So, negative 2.4, 2.4, here you go, negative 2.4 and 9. I am going all the way to the right. Here you go. You can see it right now. So it's 0 0.0064. Obviously, that makes much sense. Remember, this is the 9. So you come down to the 9 and that should be the intersection here. Okay, guys, that's how you find the Z table. Okay, 
sorry a probability from the z table okay so our area area or probability a is equal to 0 0.006 what is that this is basically over here on the left and it makes sense as you clearly see right okay so this is another one to get yeah another way to get the answers or another form of a question you may see question like that based on that you you have you can actually draw the bell bell or normal curve or bell curve or you just go directly to the z table it doesn't really hurt you okay but if you draw the bell curve you clearly see what's going on you can make a reasoning well this little piece you are looking for so you know you will see why we are drawing this very soon when you find the area to the right we have to do something extra okay so what we are doing area to the left in this video so just stick with this okay now another example look we can have a different oil look this one is down here this is looks like a word problem here okay so i want to actually make sure I, I have enough space so okay so this one down here assume that adult have iq scores that are normally distributed remember it has to be normally distributed with the population mean 100 and a standard deviation population standard deviation is 20 find the probability that a randomly selected adult has an iq score less than 136 again you have option what is this one mean okay so i'm going to show you on this video actually what does it really mean so I'm going to look into this one down here and I'm, I will draw this one actually here. So this is non-standard normal curve is given. So actually, let's take a look here. Okay. All right. So they said mean is 100. So that's the 100. And standard deviation is 20. Standard deviation is 20. Remember, we have one standard deviation, two standard deviation, three standard deviation. Same thing here. 1 standard deviation, 2 standard deviation, 3 standard deviation. Okay. Well, as you see, they are uh, not uh, that great. I'm going to actually erase this uh, again. I'm going to construct this again one more time here. Okay. So that's going to be my mean, which is 100, right in the middle. 1 standard deviation, 2 standard deviation, 3 standard deviation. 1 standard deviation, 2 standard deviation, 3 standard deviation. So this one is a little much better, okay? Now, clearly as you see, this is not a normal standard deviation because mean cannot be bigger than 0. And standard deviation cannot be bigger than 1. So down here, I have a standard deviation is 20. I have a standard deviation is 20, as you see. So what does it mean? It means next one is going to be 120 and 140 and 150 on the left side is going to be you know of course 80 is coming down on the left this is called non-standard remember guys we cannot find the probability unless otherwise it's normal distributed and of course if it is normal distributed we have to convert things into z score so we must need something zero one two three something like that and negative one negative two negative three we need something like that so we are going to convert now these scores as a as a z score okay as a z score all right let's continue so i'm going to erase on the left side one okay i'm going to erase on the left side one i need a little bit of space here okay i need a little bit of space so what i'm going to do i'm going to first convert into z score so z is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation remember this is the formula we have used before so x in this case is given as a data value less than 136 so we do 136 minus mean is 100 okay 100 over 20 
so that would give us we can take a little calculator if you want right we can take a little calculator and that would probably give us 1.80 1.80 that would give us 1.80 okay so 1.80 why is that so this is basically 1.80 most probably here okay 1.80 that is the location above the mean 1.8 standard deviation away from the mean okay that is the location all right now since we have a z score right we can actually look into c well they said less than less than so we are looking less than down here so we look into the left side here okay shaded portion or i just you know put this this is what we are looking for so we're going to go to the table okay we're going to go to the table clearly so this is negative 1.80 so we look into the positive sorry positive side here this is 1.80 so 1.8 1.8 here you go 1.8 and 0 that's the first one here that's the first one here, as you clearly see. That's the first one here. Okay, 0.9641. So that's it down here. Point, so area is gonna be, well, first of all, they said probably they didn't mention about the percentage, so we're good. So we can say area is equal to, oh, by the way, this is z score. It is area equal to 0 0.9641. And that makes sense, guys. Why? Because this piece is really almost like everything. So that makes sense, actually. So this is the area. And that's how we find the area in between. Sorry, uh, my apology. Area to the left side, okay? So I hope you understand how to find the area to the left side of Z score. Remember, if it is not given as is normal distribution, right? Or normal standard OA. If it is given non-standard, we must convert into standard normal. Okay, like this one. This one is not given as a normal distribution, so we must convert into Z score, which is normal. Then we work it out. Go to the Z table, and when you go to the Z table, we just read the Z table again. How do you read the Z table? One more thing, I'm going to show you one more time, actually, as a you know. So look at the sign. Sign is positive. 1.80 so this is the positive z score so 1.8 we look into 1.8 so 1.8 is this one here and 0 is this one so 0 0 so you come down here you just come down here and that is going to be the answer here actually okay so that is the answer right here in the middle that's how you read the z table okay so uh, thank you very much i hope you understand how to find the area on the left of z given at least three different OS. So I try to make sure that any form you see given a normal curve, shaded, you know how to find the area. Given without a normal curve, something like example two, you know now how to shade and how to find the area. And also given application problem, okay, some wording. And of course, this is not given as a normal curve or z score we must convert into z score and that is our x that is our x this is always the x random value so we have all of this we just plug this in convert into z score and go to the z table then go to the go to the z table okay so that's how we actually work out on this kind of problem thank you so much